Hi, I'm Dr. Cheryl Fraser, Fulbright award-winning psychologist, sex therapist, and author of Buddha's Bedroom. And I'm here to tell you that it is possible to have a lifelong love and passion that is spectacular. Yes, it's rare, and yes, it's not easy, but it is possible, and I'm going to show you how. But I also know that it's really hard. Around eight years ago, I was at the peak of my career as a love and sex expert. I had a full-time talk radio show giving love advice. I was even on TV and I was teaching weekend workshops to couples, teaching them to have the very thing I didn't because I was single. I had a house with a special steam shower built for two and I was showering alone. But I knew great passion was possible because I'd watched it my whole life when I looked at my grandparents, Norman and Evelyn. Now, Norm was born in Wales and he escaped the coal mining lifestyle by lying about his age and hopping on a boat to Canada and working for a buck a week for a farmer in freezing cold winter in Saskatchewan in Canada. And then springtime came and it was time for the spring dance and my granddad got in his best shirt, which I'm sure was pretty shabby, and he went to the dance and as I picture it, there he was with the other young cool guys winning against the wall and in walks my grandmother, Evelyn. She had wavy blonde hair and beautiful blue eyes, the color of the ocean on a summer day. And my grandfather fell in love. He turned to the guy next to him and said, who's that? And the guy said, ha, don't even think about it. That's Evelyn, but she's already engaged to be married. And my granddad said, not for long. He wooed her, he wed her. They had 65 years of profound love and I watched them my whole life. When Evelyn would walk in the room and my granddad would see her, his face would light up like a Christmas tree. That's the kind of love I wanted eight years ago. That's the kind of love you want, including those of you who've been in your relationship for years or decades already. You can uncover the love you think you've lost and here's how. I'm going to give you a teaching on the passion triangle, the three keys to a sustainable, lifelong, passionate love affair. You need three things to make it work and you need to work a bit at these. They don't just fall out of a tree and bonk you on the head. But the three keys are intimacy, thrill, and sensuality. Intimacy is that sense of connection, being known, sharing your day with each other, the stuff that came so easily in the beginning when you were dating. Researcher John Gottman calls this marital friendship and it predicts long-term success in love and to some degree in passion. But for passion, you need the other two. And here's where my unique teachings come in. The teaching of thrill, the second aspect of passion, that butterflies in the tummy, excited feeling you used to feel when you were first dating. Do not buy the terrible myth that thrill can't last forever. We've all heard it. Most of us believe it. It's not true. The thrill does tend to take a deep dive after a while, but you can uncover the thrill that used to be there because it never died. It's just slumbering. The third key to passion is where we get naked and it gets pretty fun and funky. And that's the sensuality side. I'm talking about everything erotic from the look across the room to kissing your partner goodbye with passion when they leave for work in the morning to expanding your sexuality to increasing your desire and frequency of sexuality together. Learning the difference between mental desire, physical arousal and moving into exploring your lovemaking with tantric sexuality, special orgasm practices and simply remembering that your physical sensual life is very very important if you'd like to learn more about how to create passion that lasts a lifetime and I know you do visit my website www.drcherylfraser.com or click below and sign up for weekly love bites videos like this one free teachings delivered right to your inbox and when you sign up you'll get my free gift which will answer the number one question that brings couples to therapy with me what do I do when I want to have sex, but my partner doesn't we'll receive a free PDF and podcast on passion and how to never say I'm not in the mood ever again. I know passion lasts forever. Remember my grandparents, 65 years of marriage. In her 80s, my grandmother sadly did die from cancer and we found out that my granddad Norman had Alzheimer's. We didn't know because they danced so beautifully together that she filled in the gaps in his memory before she died and we thought he was okay. My granddad went down real fast when he lost his Evie and I used to visit him a lot and one day, I went into his hospital room and he looked up and he saw me and I had wavy blonde hair and I've got blue eyes and he looked at me and he said, Evie, you're here. And I said, 
Yes, Norm, I am. I'm here, my dear. You have a little rest now. And he had the nicest sleep that he'd had in a long, long time. The thrill does last forever, and I can show you how. How you can love and have your face light up through death do you part, through Alzheimer's, and for the rest of your lives together. And hey, I don't shower alone anymore. About two months ago, I married a fantastic, beautiful man, and together he and I are going to cultivate our passion triangle for love that lasts a lifetime. Please, let me show you how.